Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Tommy Needles with Keller Williams Platinum Partners on another edition of Food for Thought Fridays. Today's discussion is FHA loans. I'm with a trusted vendor, Robert Hastings of Prime Living, that's in our office. Robert, let's talk about the new administration coming in and putting a halt to the FHA mortgage premium. Let's talk about what that actually is and what he actually did. Well, good you asked, and thank you for inviting me to this. I'm so happy to be here. Absolutely. And I'm happy to be here in front of you. Um, hopefully, this is time well spent for you. I believe it will. Um, anyway, what is the mortgage insurance premium? Well, that's money that, uh, for anyone who has an FHA loan, pays this mortgage insurance premium on a monthly basis. And what it does is it fills the, the uh, uh, it's, a, it's an insurance premium that uh, basically the money goes into and is stored. And when someone who has a FHA loan goes into foreclosure, as opposed to the government going to the taxpayer to help pay that bill, what they do is they dip into this pool of funds to pay the losses that are incurred by the uh, foreclosure. And so what did Donald Trump do? Well, um, last, uh, I would say probably about 30, 45 days ago, Barack Obama and his administration decided that they would uh, offer a, a reduction of the mortgage insurance premium by a quarter percent. And so what happened is Trump and his team came in and said, you know, it was, it was supposed to take place on, on the 27th of this month. And the Trump administration came in and said, hold on a second here. Before we allow this to go forward, let's review the, the entire financial uh, books of the FHA to make sure that this is a good thing. Because the last thing that we want to do is if something happens, that we have to go back to the taxpayer to, to uh, recover funds for a home that goes into foreclosure. So, in essence, it was more of a fail-safe for the, the, the taxpayers. Most definitely. It was done all as a protection to the taxpayers. Excellent. What actually is an FHA loan? Well, an FHA loan, uh, first off, FHA stands for Federal Housing Authority. And so it is a loan, mortgage loan, that is insured by the government. What advantages are an FHA loan compared to any other? Okay. Good question. Uh, for one, it has a lower down payment. Uh, basically, it's 3.5% of the purchase price. Uh, most programs are 5% or more. Uh, but with an FHA loan, it's 3.5% down. Uh, the terms are pretty flexible uh, in that uh, it appeals to everybody with whether or not they have a high credit score or a lower credit score. Um, and so, uh, when someone, even with a lower credit score on a conventional loan, sometimes the mortgage insurance premiums can be very high. With FHA, they remain the same. So it is a lower uh, payment option for those with lower credit scores than it is with higher credit, higher credit buyers. So if you had an FHA loan in the past, can you get an FHA loan um, in the future? Most definitely. Um, as long as that previous home is sold, and you can do that on the same day. So you can actually have a transaction where you've sold your home. It happens on the same day that you buy a home with FHA financing. But you would not be able to keep that FHA loan and have a new FHA loan with that still intact. Excellent, excellent. So Robert, um, how, can, how can they be reached? How can they reach you, I'm sorry? How can they reach me? Well, I can be reached by phone at 816-600-4556 or by email at rhastings at primelending.com. Well, perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, a Food for Thought Friday FHA uh, requirements and discussion. I'm Tommy Needles with Keller Williams Realty, Robert Hastings with uh, Prime Living here at our office. It starts with Robert and it ends with me. Thanks for watching. Bye.